What is going on guys? This is Jake at That Fit Friend and today I'm reviewing the Feel Grounds Original Mesh Barefoot Shoes. So three pros that I have with this model is number one, this model does a really good job at ticking that box of being a really good daily wear barefoot shoe that looks good in a lot of different settings with a lot of different outfits. With some of the more performance focused barefoot shoes on the market, they don't necessarily look good with jeans or if you want to rock them out to like a semi-formal occasion, this model's simplistic construction and appearance I think does a really good job at delivering a nice nice, subtle, good looking barefoot shoe that doesn't necessarily shout like performance focused barefoot shoe. So I like this model a lot for daily wear and this model is going to work best in the warmer months. So for warmer days in the spring and fall and the summer. The second pro with this model is that it's made with recycled materials. So the sole of the shoe is made out of a recycled PET and then the upper laces and the liner in this model is also made with a recycled PET. PET is polyethylene terephthalate and I might have just butchered that pronunciation, but it's one of the most like widely used recycled materials and shoes, apparel and stuff like that. So it's really cool that Field Grounds is using recycled materials to build this model. Honestly, with like how simplistic the construction is and how it like has a nice subtle appearance to it, I almost think of these as almost like the all birds of like barefoot shoes in the sense that like they look good on a lot of different settings, they're made with sustainable materials, and they're really simplistic in nature, and they're pretty dang comfy. My third pro with this model is that as a whole, they are very lightweight, breathable, and flexible. So if you're gonna be wanting a daily wear shoe, especially for the warmer months, you're gonna want a shoe that breathes really well. So the fact that this mesh is super lightweight and that it has a good level of breathability, I think think adds to this shoe's ability to work really well on a daily wear basis and I really like the sole in this shoe. This shoe has a stack height of five millimeters so the sole is only five millimeters thick so you get a lot of ground feedback and a lot of flexibility with this sole. But now let's talk about a couple of cons I have with this model. So two potential cons I could see folks having with the original mesh barefoot shoes is number one, they do not come with an insole. So they have this finished internal construction, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. However, I think there are two cases where this could actually be a little problematic. For starters, if you're brand new to barefoot shoes, you're probably gonna want like a little bit of an insole in there just for comfort and acclimation purposes. So you're gonna have to then either get an insole out of one of your different shoes or buy a separate insole for this model. And the second occasion where I could see this being problematic is for durability, especially long-term. So if you're rocking these outside and you step in water or whatever else, Water's gonna get through the shoe pretty easily because they are so thin and we don't have an insole to separate that foot from the sole. So that is something to think about with this model. The second potential drawback is understanding that this shoe is not gonna be the best shoe for working out or for wearing in the winter and just understanding that the shoe is going to have some limitations. This shoe is definitely best served for warmer days where you're not gonna be hitting water, mud, and other things that could cause a shoe to break down, especially through the sole. So you are gonna be a little bit limited with this model. Now, can you work out in them a little bit casually? Yes, and I have been lifting in them here and there, just if I don't feel like taking off my shoes or bringing separate shoes with me to the gym if I've been wearing these. But when it comes to like being like a high performer, when it comes to running, jumping, or serious lifting, this model will fall a little short. So just two cons to think about with this shoe. So to chat on the performance in the Field Grounds Original Mesh Barefoot Shoes, I'm gonna break this section into a few different parts. We'll talk about casual lifting, daily wear, and walking. And so I am modifying the section a little bit to accommodate how this shoe is designed to be used. So for casual lifting, I think this model will work if you wanna wear them to the gym for like some recreational lifting, some strength work, and nothing that's too demanding on this shoe's sole. Now when I say demanding, I'm talking more specifically about things like CrossFit or cross training, where you're gonna be jumping and putting a lot of stress into the upper and the sole in this model. But if you wanna use these shoes for like a deadlift day or like a day where you're doing leg press, some split squats, some lunges, some active foot drills, this model model does work really well and also I like their subtle appearance. So if I wear these out to a coffee shop and I don't feel like bringing extra shoes, like I've worn these to the gym a couple of times and I've been pretty impressed with their performance. Their sole is super lightweight and flexible. So you get a lot of ground feedback and articulation with the foot and with how thin the sole is, I think they're a pretty good shoe for things like deadlifts where you wanna get super close to the ground and you can't necessarily go barefoot. Now, when it comes to daily wear and walking, I think this is obviously where the shoe excels and that's obviously where it's intended to be used. But the reason I like it so much is because we have such a flexible sole and such a breathable upper that this model feels super easy to wear for long durations and the midfoot and forefoot are plenty wide. So compared to some of the other barefoot shoes on the market that I do wear on a daily basis too, like the Innovate Bear XF210 V3, this model's toe box is a bit wider so it does actually feel a little bit easier to wear all day. And if you're standing and walking, I think you'll like this model as a whole and you get a good amount of traction 
traction from the shoe's sole. So on a daily wear and walking basis, this model works really well. And I mentioned this in the pros, but I also just like that very subtle appearance of the shoe. There's no branding on this model, which I'm a fan of. So if you want a shoe for daily wear, walking, and maybe some casual lifting, this model does exceptionally well across the board. So now let's answer the question, who are these shoes best for? So I think if you're somebody who loves barefoot shoes and you want a casual wear shoe for the warmer months and you plan to rotate this model in with other shoes, then this model is a really good pick for you. Plus you can also wear them for like some casual lifting sessions and in a lot of different settings and they look really good, which adds to their ability to be a really good warm month shoe. Now what I will say is that their price point is a little bit higher. So if you plan to wear them in the winter, or if you plan to wear these as your only barefoot shoes, then you may not get as much durability out of the sole in this model. So that's why I recommend if you're somebody who wants to like implement these into a shoe lineup in the warmer months, then you'll get a lot out of this model and their durability should last longer. When it comes to sizing and fit in the Field Grounds original meshed barefoot shoes, you should be safe going true to size. The length in this model fits true and they have ample width through the toe box and midfoot. So they should accommodate a wide variety of foot widths fairly easily. For this shoe, you can expect to pay $109 USD. Now, personally, I do find that price point to be a little bit high for what this shoe offers. Like the recycled materials are a perk and also just how simple the construction is, I do like. So that's why I recommend, like if you plan to use this shoe in the warmer months in a shoe lineup where you can really prolong the lifespan of this model and their sole, then that price point can be a little bit more fair because your shoes will last you probably multiple seasons. However, if you do plan to use these for literally everything or you're looking for a high performance barefoot shoe, then the price point can be a little bit off because they will have limitations on that front. So when discussing the weight, heel, toe drop, and insole in this model, for my size 10 shoe here, which is 43 EU, we have a weight of 7.70 ounces. This model does not have a removable insole, so it has this finished internal construction. So if you are new to barefoot shoes, you may want to invest in an insole for this shoe or use one of your current insoles just to make the acclimation process a little bit easier for your feet. And then the heel to toe drop in this model is obviously zero millimeters. So now let's go over the construction of the Field Grounds Original Mesh Barefoot Shoes. So once again, like the construction of this model is super simple and I think that's actually one of the things to like about this shoe. So we have a consistent sole construction throughout this model. We have some lug patterning here on the bottom and the sole is made with a recycled PET and it has a stack height of five millimeters. This means that there is five millimeters of thickness in the sole that separates the foot from the floor. The upper is a full mesh here. So as you can see, it is consistent throughout the entirety of the upper. This mesh is super lightweight and breathable and it's also made with a recycled PET along with the liner and the laces in the shoe. We have six eyelets that run up. We have metal eyelet holes here and then we have a tongue with a loop which is nice for preventing any lateral or medial lipping of this tongue and we have some very subtle Field Grounds branding on the tongue itself. Outside of that, that is pretty much the gist of this shoe. Like we have a little bit of Field Grounds branding back here on the heel, but like that's pretty much it. We don't have that removable insole. So once again, the shoe does not have a separate insole, but that's pretty much the gist of the shoe's construction. If you have any questions on this model's construction or the materials used, hit me in the comments below. All right guys, that wraps up my review of the Field Grounds Original Mesh Barefoot Shoes. So this model is the pink colorway and truthfully, like this is not a colorway that I would normally go with, but I figured 2022, I'm gonna live my life this summer and get a pair of shoes that is a little bit out of my comfort zone. And thus far, I've really enjoyed this model. And so if you have any questions on these shoes, hit me in the comments below or reach out to me personally, whichever you prefer. And as always guys, drop a like on the video, drop subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.